What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 19 of the Applesauce Podcast, the only gaming podcast where we say right off the bat, fuck the alt-right. Fuck them. And fuck anyone who associates themselves with Gamergate. Fuck them. My name is Broadway Vic, and joining me as always is my wonderful uh, producer. He's my brother, and as always, he's going to be in the other seat. Manny, a.k.a. Mr. Lightman, what is going on, bro? Not much. Same old, same old. Getting getting on track now. Getting on track, man. I'm feeling good, dude. Yeah, me too. Feeling jacked. I have no idea why, but I'm feeling good. I do know why. Why? Because football season is among us. It's it's coming, baby. It's coming, baby. Oh, the Lords are about to bless us. I know, right? (laughs) With another Patriots Super Bowl appearance. That's true. But let's digress (laughs) and go back. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Just and to coincide with the season of football coming, uh, have we we've named the podcast already? No, we've talked about it, but we haven't named it. All right, we finally got our name for the football podcast, and we're gonna tell it to you guys right here. It's the Footbrowskis, of course. You know, it's the the podcast where we talk all things NFL. But that's that's let's save that for another time. Yes. So you what you want to get right into the news? Sure thing, man. All right, you guys already know we're gonna be covering some of the news surrounding the industry as well as talking about any of the games that we've been playing. Our thoughts our opinions, and maybe whatever else happens, happens. Let's get right into the news, though, bro. All right. All right, we're going to kick it off. We got some uh, unfortunate news coming from GameStop. They're, ha- they're, laying- they're laying off over 100 people, including nearly half of Game Informer staff. And, you know, if you've been keeping up with the news, you would not, you would see, you would have seen this coming from a mile away. GameStop has unfortunately been downsizing. It's been not as profitable as it used to be. Um, personally, There's a couple of people I saw online that are like celebrating the fact that GameStop is slowly dying, but I here's I don't see the industry being better off without GameStop. Why? Because it's such a like it's such a huge social hub for like a ton of people, you know. And it's also like yeah, they have like terrible practices and stuff, but that's still like one of the main ways people get games. Still, it's also the main reason why they're closing now. There's just mean, overall is- better deals Every, anywhere, almost anywhere else. Best Buy for starters. Yeah, and you would you should have seen this coming, especially with the push for uh, digital you know purchases, and that just keeps increasing. And you're right, you know they don't have as many good sales as a uh, company like that should. But Best Buy, Target, Amazon. Yeah, I'm just saying. Listen, man, the the I just feel like the industry is better with GameStop in it. I don't Unfortunately, know. I, I, don't- I mean I hope they don't close. I don't see them being around for much longer. It's going to suck because I did meet a, a bunch of cool people at GameStop. That's true. It was also a launch event and all that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's, it, it holds a, a place in my heart, like a fondness. Mm-hmm. There, I mean, don't get me wrong. I met a ton of shitty people at GameStop, but there was a bunch of cool people that I met too. Yeah, but like stores like that come and go. You remember Funko Land? Funko Land, yeah. yeah. There yeah. was that other one, Crazy Circuit City. <laughs> Circuit then, like, City. Crazy Town, something like that. God, man, there's a lot of things that, that went the way of the dodo. They did. But yeah, so they did lay off half of Game Informer's staff. We're talking people like Imran Khan. Imran Khan? Imran? I have no idea. Damn, I know. That's, that's the terrible thing about like only reading names and never hearing them. It's like, I don't know how to pronounce them. Surya Vasquez, Kyle Hillard, J.V. Guatane, Jeff Marcia Fava, Elise Farvis have, you know, some of these, these are some of the names that have been laid off. I, I hope they land on their feet, man, because it really sucks to see when people lose their jobs, lose a sort of, you know, security in their life, because, you know, we've been there, bro. No, definitely. You know, we've had the net pulled out from under us, and it sucks, but a lot of these it's people... It's scary. Are, yeah, scary, dude. A lot of these people, though, man, you know, they're talented writers. They're definitely going to be able to find their voice in another place. You would hope and, so, right? Yeah, dude, I'm I'm rooting for them. Matter of fact, one of them already found a new home in Imran Khan joining Kind of Funny Games. He already had an appearance in the show, and he's announced on Twitter that he already found uh, a footing, and he's just very happy, and he was... Uh, very thankful for a lot of people on the internet who gave him the platform in the first place. Which, listen, I I follow Imran Khan. Like I said, I don't I only read his things and I don't read his posts on like game forums and shit. Uh, but I don't big really fan of the guy. I'm yeah. a big fan of the guy. Yeah, so I'm I'm okay. happy he found this way. That's true. That's good for two things too. Mm-hmm. One, he lands on his feet. Yeah. Two, probably get some diversity in there. Is is, is he not white? He's he's brown. He's brownish. Yeah. Yo, that's so crazy. You've never seen it? <laughs> I've never really? seen like I just like like he, that's it. That's his, that's him on his Twitter picture. Oh, that's him. Yeah. Oh wow. 
Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess he's a little. So yeah, yeah I think yeah. he's the darkest yeah. colored skin person in that <laughs> in that group now. Yeah, I guess right. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully we get no, no more shit from Gregory. <laughs> hopefully, like you said, man. Well, like we were talking about, it's kind of hard to be more uh, uh, hand waving away like racism when you have to like really directly work yeah. next to uh, right. someone like this. But yeah, look, I'm I'm glad Imran Khan landed on his feet. I'm happy for you, everybody else. I'm rooting for you. We're all rooting for you here. Mm-hmm. Just just keep your head up. You guys are definitely going to find something out. Just keep your head up. And we have some more news coming from GameStop. This is from Nintendo Life, right? Apparently, GameStop's internal database lists multiple new SKUs for the Nintendo Switch. This is coming from the same source that uh, leaked the 10 SKUs like 10 minutes before uh, Nintendo's E3 Direct. So, th- so we're a- thinking another Direct? September? Uh, maybe, dude. We might be getting a September Direct. I mean, usually it happens, right? That's usually the September Direct. And then there's one before, like, the Tokyo Game Show. I think so, right? So, I mean, like, what what, what can you expect from a September Direct? Like Early January stuff. Like, more Animal Crossing things? But even then, like, it's already up for pre-order. Nah, yeah, but I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about, like, next year stuff. God, usually, man. Usually, so, usually, uh, usually, like, the last quarter is when they give you, like, what we're going to get next year. A little bit of... That, or we get a January teaser. Direct. Or January direct, but it's but it's like a little it's way. No matter of fact, not a little. It's way too soon to have these SKUs listed on GameStop already. Know. If it's for January, definitely. So I mean, it's probably a, a, a September direct because usually we get one like quarterly. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You're right. <laughs> but maybe these are just like you know indie games that already been announced that are finally putting the SKUs out. I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm a little excited, man. I want to see if Nintendo comes with more mega tons. You know, I'm always ready for that Nintendo hype. <laughs> Anytime but, there's a Direct, man. Yeah, so it's so, always hyped. Yeah, if, if a Nintendo Direct gets announced uh, soon, then I think we might have uh, uh, quite a bit of news on our hands. That's true. But for now, all we can do is speculate. And here's what I'm calling it right now, bro. A Captain Falcon open world action game. <laughs> Give me that, bro. I'm trying to Falcon punch everybody to the sun. That would be amazing, <laughs> but I don't think that's happening. Well, Minecraft is getting a little bit of a facelift because they are bringing uh, ray tracing as well as the new engine and a new way to experience Minecraft. And I'm seeing some of these screenshots, bro. It's looking nice, man. It's looking real, real good. I'm. I can only imagine what new things these people are gonna come up with, uh, with the new lighting and new ways to sort of you know mess with the atmosphere of the game. I'm. I'm <laughs> no, yeah, I've seen the screenshots. I've seen the mods that people did with uh, the ray tracing. Yeah, in Minecraft, that's amazing. It yeah, is amazing dude, bro, what like good lighting can do to a game. It's incredible. The shit, bro, that has come out of Minecraft is wild as fuck, bro. It is. It that, is. Is, but man, I feel so bad, yo, because I think I don't know if I said this last episode, but every time I launch Minecraft, I, I always go, man, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm gonna do some crazy shit, and then I make a house, and I go, I, I don't. This is my magnum this opus. Is, yeah, this is this four by four dirt house with a candle on it. It's like, <laughs> no, yeah, I understand that. It. It. It's it's that getting overwhelmed to yeah. be able to create anything. Well, yeah, I'm not overwhelmed. I'm just you know. I no, just I'm don't... saying me, <laughs> like me personally. Yeah. When they give you the world, mm-hmm. I get overwhelmed by the world. Right. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's like... kind of hard to just like focus on one thing. Yes. Well, I mean, dreams is is a, a thing. Yeah, that's know? why I haven't tried dreams out. Because I'm, I'm not creative enough to create anything in Dreams like that. <laughs> or focused creative. enough. Yeah, I don't have enough focus in me to create <laughs> something in Dreams. But man, but yeah, but Minecraft, they showed off some new footage as well. It's looking really good, man. Just, I, I always got to give uh, Microsoft and, and Mojang the sort of, uh, the shout out. Because the things and the support that they've given this community, this game, has been nothing short of incredible, bro. Minecraft, do you think we'll ever see a sequel to Minecraft? Probably. I don't not, right? think so. There's no reason to. Right? You would have to wait for another, for it to crash into the earth again. Right. And like you have to wait like a it's gonna be a long time before that happens because right. Minecraft is still selling. It is. It's, it's still getting modded. Yeah. People are still creating new things. It's one of those things like like GTA five is like who the fuck is still buying Grand Theft Auto Five? Like how do you not have the game? How yeah. have they not sold enough <laughs> copies already, dude? I don't know. I like to believe that it's the company just rebuying their own game. <laughs> <laughs> just to have some sort of record, right? Yeah. All right, listen, this is going to be a little bit of exciting news for you, dude. Why? Because Gears 5, they officially revealed their horde mode, bro, oh, and man. it's looking that shit super was fucking dope, dude. And 
Yo, I'm, Ooh. I'm. Listen, I first of know. all, you you just have to tell me horde modes there. Yeah. And I'm hyped. The only horde mode I haven't enjoyed was Judgment Day's horde mode. Yo, and you know what really took this announcement to the next level? The ending. Not only for you, but mm-hmm. for me too, bro. Is they they're introducing fucking um Halo Reach <laughs> armor skins. Right? Skins, yeah, skin armor. Well, armor skin, yeah, well, skins. They're showing Halo Reach skins, bro. And those things look so cool, bro. Uh, they had it was Kat a meal and, and uh, a meal, bro. Yeah, yeah dude. they also uh, had the Terminator. Yeah, I mean, but, I don't really care about. Yeah, it. I mean, I honestly <laughs> don't care about that. It was Halo. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, bro. I was Yo. like, what? Get out of here, bro. Yes. I'm gonna be mailing niggas up. Give me some, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Gears of War, bro. I'm so hyped, man. I think it's, it's coming out what September Shining 14th. To the body? For yeah, what? Shining, uh, Gears. Gears. I think uh, it's like a couple of days earlier for Game Pass, which we have. So you already know we're gonna be there day one, baby. Day one, man. And I have not missed the Halo uh, Gears game. Gears game launch since yeah, two. Dude. I think I, 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 I didn't get into one. It's so what. <laughs> That's honestly that's my fault. Yeah, it yes it is. <laughs> I never got into one. Never played it actually. Yeah. But two, three, judgment and uh these these four are five. these are launch events for us, bro. Yeah. Like I love that they're so committed to the multiplayer. They're committed to co op and they're like listen split screen. And split screen, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what really, you know, kept us playing this fucking franchise, bro. Yes, the split screen and hit and uh, gears. And I'm bro, I'm so excited, man. Listen, I I every time I play gears by the time I'm done playing it, I'm tired of it. I'm like, I don't fucking want to play this game no more. But every time a new one comes out, dude, every time a new one comes out, I'm like, yo, I need to let go a couple of rounds on, on these stupid <laughs> mammals or whatever they're called. Nah, I, I don't get get tired of gears like that. Like, horde mode to me just gives me busy. Once I get into horde mode, yeah. I'm stuck in horde mode. Yo, but I it. don't... <laughs> it, it, like, it's, such a, it's a mode that... It's almost like Rock Band for you, you know, where you yeah. come back to it and you're like, yo, why the fuck did I stop playing Horde? Yeah, it is. I didn't, put, I I didn't put too Rock much Band. into, yeah, I didn't put too much into Gears 4 Horde mode. Yeah. Because I had other stuff to do, like those other games coming out and all that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you see, like, if I go back right now, I'm going to be stuck in it. <laughs> but it's just, oh. You saw, you, what did you think of the powers? I honestly didn't even pay attention to that. Like, I, I, like, <laughs> I got hyped into the mode. I was yeah. like, I don't care what they add. I'm, I'm in it already. Just, just let me get me... the skins. Let me play with the Carmine brothers. Yeah, just just give me a chainsaw and I'm ready, bro. I'm ready yeah, to get yeah. to the last level with Jeff. I want to they... see. I want to see that new mode though. You that got you escape. Got... Oh yeah, bro. Yes, that yes, escape that, looks crazy. That looks fucking awesome, bro. That actually might sway me from Horde mode, depending yeah, on how depending it on is. how it goes. Yeah, like depending on the structure yeah, and just the way it plays. Yeah, it looks sure. like you have like. Heroes, right? Like mm-hmm. heroes with special abilities. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. So that was yeah. Oh, they're if they coming, nail that, yo, if they it, nail bro. that, Coalition is really, really setting the tone for this game, bro. I'm, I think this might be the best gears yeah, if, ever, bro. If they at least, n- at least the biggest one, the most ambitious one for sure. Most definitely. I mean, cause I, like I don't care what people say. I love Gears Four. So. God, cause like this not stories... every game has to be like like. And trust me, bro, I love these sort of artistic games. You know, yeah. the real, real subtle, real atmospheric things. But not every game has to be that, bro. Sometimes I just want to unload two thousand rounds on one enemy. <laughs> just mind make... fun, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just need that, bro. You just need a break from it. Sometimes. Yeah. It's like either way, like I've been on Gears since two. Yeah, I like Gears Two, Gears Three. I didn't really enjoy Gears Judgment. Played the story. Yeah, I I love Gears Four though. I I liked all the characters. Kate, um, what's his name? This guy's Marcus Phoenix. Kid, so, oh, JD. Yeah. JD, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I I feel bad because I forget the black guy's name. <laughs> yeah, no, I I, I forgot. And I, I, I forgot everybody's I, I, name. I think we beat the story twice though because you didn't get your achievements. I didn't get them. my achievement, which was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that. And but you you ended up getting the achievements higher than I did. Yeah, because I didn't know I was playing like impossible or something. Yeah, which... I did not know that was a thing though. I didn't know that you can Yo, play in a different difficulty than I. Than bro, me. and I was telling you, dude. I was like, listen, I'm getting shot as much as you are. Yeah, I keep going down. I don't know what's going on. I thought the game was just glitching out on us. Yeah, no, but we had, apparently you could play in a higher difficulty than, than me. I was on hard. You think you were on expert or whatever it's called? Yeah. So that's crazy. It was like, wild, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Happened? But listen, I, I want to tell you the way. <laughs> it was. Listen, I told you guys uh, like two weeks ago, right? That I was gonna be the sacrificial lamb for this. I did it, dude. I sat through uh, Google's Stadia Connect uh, event, and <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's just—I didn't care for it. <laughs> it was bad. Well, no, I heard it was horrible. No, it's just like, all right, yeah, you, your name, you're announcing all these games that are coming to the thing, right? But it just comes down like, I, and we're not gonna stay on this subject for too long. But it just comes down to why would I play this on Stadia over my my One X? 
over my PS4 Pro. Because you can play PC. it anywhere. But like, but show me, dude. You gotta give me hands on. I gotta see more hands on in a non controlled environment. Oh. Uh, you know? okay. I was about Google's to say, well, like, well, I mean, well, they've shown out. the hands on thing. Yeah, I was like, well, Google would be like, well, check out this hands on. It's like, well, yeah, you set it up. Like, right. come on, dude. You're Google. You're obviously you're gonna have like a thousand megabyte download <laughs> <laughs> and upload speed. Average Joe here don't got that. Yeah, dude. We have great internet and we're barely like gonna. Peak yeah, it, you know? no, we barely make that cutoff line for the. Four- I don't even think we make the four K one, do we? I uh, no, I think we, yeah we do. But like, we do hit the four K at, at the cutoff. Yeah, line. like we're at the right at the cusp. So I doubt we're actually gonna be streaming at four K nah, if we well, actually do. I'm it. not even gonna try out Google Stadia. I just yeah. I just have no no faith in it. Yeah, and, and just I, uh and, and listen, I know it was, I think it was her first appearance of this thing, but lady, you gotta blink every <laughs> once in a while. Oh my god, bro, she was creeping me out. She was like like this bug eyed. She had like this Alexandria Ocasio Cortez thing going. Oh, but she, like, her eyes are not naturally like that. I feel like she was trying so hard to like just open, keep her eyes open, so she doesn't look weird. <laughs> but I think she was nervous. But that's a little bit of advice. They do I her think dirty, she was though. fantastic, though. They do a- AOC. They do her dirty with some of the pictures. <laughs> Like they so, emphasize the eyes sometimes. Like, yeah, she's not Photoshop like that. Goku's yeah. eyes on her face. <laughs> she be crying. But yeah, listen, man. Google, sta- Google uh, Stadia. If it's for you, I mean, report on it. Let me know how it goes when it launches. Yo, they still haven't showed the UI, bro. Uh, just, really? Yeah. There's too when many is it questions. Supposed to, it's supposed to launch soon, though, right? Yeah. Like, like within like the next soon. two months or something. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I got no. I'm. I'm. I'm like two years as I give it. At most two years. Yeah. Before they pull the plug. Mm-hmm. No, I agree with you. But we have a couple of hands-on impressions f- coming from Saber Interactive's port of The Witcher 3. We got some videos from Digital Foundry. We got videos from a couple of different people. And I'm shocked, dude. Digital Foundry came back and they were like, yo, I don't know what they're doing, but it's another one of these uh, quote-unquote miracle ports <laughs> for the Nintendo Switch. Mm-hmm. And it's it. I saw the footage, dude, and yeah. I saw like the video. Holy crap, bro. I don't know how they're doing it. Like, you see the dips, and what what I guess is kind of refreshing is that the developers are coming out like, listen, guys, this is a huge game. There's going to be a couple of dips. It's going to be a couple of frame rate chugs. But, and they went to, like, some of the busiest spots, like the things that even, you know, the One X and the PS4 Pro had trouble Yeah, like the rendering. towns and all that? Yeah, and of course, you're going to have a couple of issues on the Switch version, but it runs really well, dude. I don't know how the fuck Saber Saber Interactive did it. No, yeah, I heard about but it. But they're fucking nailing it, dude. Oof, you gonna get it? <laughs> yeah, bro. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get that game, dude. I it's like I, I feel almost obligated to get this game just because of the ambition of it, bro. Just I have to to have it in my hands. I have to see this with my own switch, nah, yeah. bro. Okay, I understand. Then I understand what you mean. And the thing that kind of surprised me is that Saber Interactive was sitting down and they. We're talking with Digital Foundry, and they're like, uh, well, how long have you been developing this port? And they go, um, I want to say over a year, but if you're not counting any of your business things and just straight developing, we've only been doing this for 12 months. That's a year. Yeah, I know, but he was talking about over a year. Oh, okay. I'm but, back. dude, one year, and you're, you're porting this fucking game, this gargantuan game to the Switch, it's crazy, With all the dude. DLC, too, right? With all the, yeah, yeah, yeah. With all the DLC. Everything that's yeah, in the, I, could, I could imagine why that would take a while. You have to yeah. downsize but some dude, stuff and then have it. a year is, inc- yo, that's efficiency, bro. For a big yeah. game like that, that you have to port yeah. to, something, to something like the Switch, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's amazing. Yeah, I listen, dude. Big, big ups to Saber Interactive, bro. I'm gonna yeah, get see, this game. See, like, yeah, that's some. That's that's something that would make me want to buy the game, though. That's support to showing, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for bringing yeah, this game to for, the Switch. For huh? giving it a chance and really, really right. staying with it. I'm like fucking what you call it, hmm? Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I feel like they were teasing it for a while, and I, yeah, right? I wouldn't be shocked if we get news like within a year that they were like, "Yo, we were developing, but." Uh, the switch didn't hit what we wanted it to hit, and uh, we just pulled the plug on the whole thing. Nah, I think they just look for a reason to not do it. Like Maybe. they just port the menu, and they see the menu loaded up, so that nah, cancel it. Yeah, I mean, this we is, tried. <laughs> I, what actually reminds me, this is this is not news, but um, one of the NBA Two K developers, mm-hmm. they were talking about why they make the Switch version still. Yeah, and they're like, listen, if there's an audience that wants it on the Switch, and there is. 
we're gonna we're gonna make the game for you guys. Okay? Me, I, like, I bought the I bought the the first one they came out. I didn't buy the last year's ones. I wanted to, but I heard too many bad things about the microtransactions. Yeah, I mean so I even like, even with the, with the one that you bought. Was yeah, I little, hate it. Uh, that was I had, I had like you had the cheese. It was so bad. Yeah, that I went on like <laughs> online. People were telling me how to glitch some of the money, mm. and not even the microtransaction thing, but like the in-game currency yeah. to buy stuff. So I just yeah, did yeah. that for like a good day or two to get enough money to actually just buy whatever I want yeah but yeah but listen the guy was like yo there's an audience there we're gonna deliver it bro and ah, that's cause, cool cause the people want it yeah and I'm I, that's cool dude nah, I'm like, like, I found yeah. the game fun like I, I played it surprisingly longer than I thought I would yeah cause I'm not big, I'm not really big into the NBA I know but I we've always had we would, we've always played like one NBA game like a generation yeah I like NBA games it's, it's a I one like that we, one you get stuck I think the only thing I normally play would be soccer Mm. It's like the only it's game just I as can't boring play. To play as it yeah. is to watch. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I just don't get soccer, man. But yeah, like, like NBA, the only I, time I watch soccer is to uh, the World Cup, and that's it. No, nah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, but I don't, I don't really play NBA like once or twice. <laughs> By one, one or two games a gen, that's it. Yeah, like well, I leave that. that. Yeah, that's that. Uh, but that's pretty much been my sport games advice for like the last couple of years. I just don't buy football games no more. Yeah, and then we don't have Madden, Yeah, bro. we don't have Madden. We don't have a uh, Blitz. We don't have oh, NBA man. heat. Yo, a Blitz 3, dude, I think that'd be super fucking cool. That would be amazing. There's just a lot of guys the story. that can make fun of. Right? <laughs> you got Blitz, uh, Heat, Mike, Street. Mike Mexico, whatever, what's his name? Yeah, Michael <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Yo, Making fun of Mike Vick. Yeah, so Nintendo had an Indie World Showcase uh, earlier in this week. And what did you think, bro? We had some I loved it. some good some good announcements. Well, I don't know if they were announcements, but we showed some cool clips. We had Risk of Rain 2, Torchlight 2, which was a nice surprise. We got Skater XL. The Hotline Miami collection is coming, bro, and I'm going to get that as soon as I possibly can. And, of course... I think that's self-released. Shadow what? Drop after the event. Risk of Rain? No. Um... Hotline Miami? Yeah. Whoa, really? Yeah. Oh, sh- I did not know that. But no, you're you're cutting me off, yo. <laughs> the big news for a lot of people was that Xbox very own Ori and the Blind Forest is making its way to the Nintendo Switch, and this is another one of Microsoft's uh, first first party games. Or yeah. Second party games. It should be first party. With um, wow, Cuphead. Yeah. Yeah, it's another one of these Microsoft exclusives that also, are making right? its way to the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. It's it it's the second game on the list of Microsoft exclusives coming to the Switch. Yeah, in the leak. Because the somebody, yeah, there was there was a leak like a couple months ago mm-hmm. when Cuphead was first announced, like around that time. There was oh, a leak yeah, that said yeah, yeah, Ori yeah. was coming, and then it it included a Microsoft first party game though. Maybe they were talking about Minecraft Dungeons. Huh? Maybe they were talking about Minecraft Dungeons. No, 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 Minecraft no, no, Dungeons. no. That's a hold on the thing. They were talking about it, and it, like it was gonna be a Halo, a Forza, or a Gears game. Get out of so here, that's bro. one of the three, or see if thieves downgraded, but it, it it's you one know. of the it's one it's a big Microsoft game mm-hmm. that's that's supposed, that's, to, be that's supposed to make the way. Yeah. Damn, that that would be crazy. They're gonna fuck pe- around. People and give didn't us believe pop. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People didn't believe it yeah. until Ori was announced. Well, yeah. And dude. now that that that, that, that old rumor credit, got yeah. brought up again, like it yo. gave credence to that yeah to that rumor. So you yes. know the, if a direct's coming up. It would yeah, be a great right? time. Yeah, you know, there might be a direct coming up soon, too, dude. All those 12 SKUs, I'm calling it now, all 12 of those SKUs are Microsoft games. <laughs> They're the Microsoft Rare Collection. <laughs> oh, the Rare Replay. Dude, that's not that. That's not a bad idea. I'm waiting for that, actually. Holy that, shit, why another... is that not a thing already? What? I'm not, I never forgot about that, dude. Uh, Nintendo people, players like, would definitely get that game. No, most definitely, but I think it hasn't happened. Mm-hmm. Probably because they want to get GoldenEye in there. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Listen, man, that would... Circle around back, make its make its long away to uh-huh. return home, dude. It, hell yeah! Imagine the deal being all right. Um, we get to have Golden Eye sixty four mm-hmm. on Xbox, mm-hmm. and you get Rare Replay with Golden Eye sixty four because be, Activision be cool, doesn't dude. own the this thing anymore. The license to that game. Oh, is EA? No, nobody, nobody? owns it. it oh, it's owned by be... the James Bond company. Now, okay, that would be cool. Yeah, bro, I can't believe I never thought about Rare Replay. But yeah, so like I was saying, this is the def- definitive edition of of Orient the Blind Forest. You gonna get this, bro? No, most definitely. It, it looked good. I loved. Um, I was I was laughing on the internet when it was shown. Yeah. Because everybody was like, it clearly looks like it's running at thirty frames. It's horrible. It's gonna be a bad <laughs> port. And then one yeah. of the developers goes like, ten eighty p. 
60 FPS. <laughs> I was just <laughs> laughing at those idiots. Like, ha, ha, ha. Well, yeah, it's like, come on. This is, listen, at the end of the day, right? It's still a, a live stream of uh, of a YouTube video. Yeah. You know, like these things are going to be compressed yeah, down. Yeah, right. You got to take the compression. Not going to look nearly as good as, as they would on the actual hardware. That's true. Even, even fucking, um, like, the big games. Like, even like a Gears 5 is not going to look as good on YouTube as it's going to look on our screen, dude. Right. Like, um, how people were glamoring about Halo. Mm-hmm. It was announced on my TV. It just looked like oh Halo. Yeah. But when I want to see it in person, though. You know? Yeah, because I think listen, I and I loved it. Yeah. I can only imagine how great it's gonna look on on the screen. All right. Ooh. Especially you know with Scarlet and shit. Yo, no, nah, like, but, but let, let's not get away from it. Let's not get away from it. Because uh, even after Ori was announced, Microsoft did say that they have no plans to bring more first party exclusives to other consoles. And I think listen, I'm just one man. Mm-hmm. I think they're blowing smoke up my ass, bro. And they're saying <laughs> they're trying to drive me away from the rumors. But dude, listen, Microsoft and Nintendo's relationship right now is as Rock great solid. as it can possibly be, dude. We already got banjo, so yeah, yeah we got banjo, banjo and Smash. Ori. What is Nintendo doing for Microsoft? Nintendo's giving them a, a, a second market. Yeah, I guess right. Yeah, no, that's it, man. That's it. Nintendo doesn't buying, have to do anything. These are people who might, might never buy an Xbox game. Mm. But now they're on Switch. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, had I not owned an Xbox, if I'm one of those people who like who's a Sony Nintendo guy, mm-hmm. and I never own an Xbox, I'm going to buy Cuphead on the Switch. Sure. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? It's a yeah. great looking game. It's a platformer. Platformers generally do way better on Nintendo systems than every other else. Yeah, they do. So, yeah, to me, it's just that. To me, Microsoft's like, yo, listen, you give us, you know, you give us access to your market, mm-hmm. we'll give you some games in return. Yeah, I think that's well, I mean, a fair of course, deal. and obviously Microsoft is making money off the the games too. Well, yeah, so. I mean, not as much as you would hope, so, right? Because it's not they're not first party; they still have to split that revenue. What thirty sixty is it? Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, no, 30, I mean, between the developers, Microsoft and Nintendo. Yeah, but I mean, that's still money you wouldn't make, so that's extra revenue. That's true, and that's a market. You know, you know, you might get a fan here. You know what? I never owned a Microsoft console, right? But I like Cuphead. I like Ori. I like Ori, right? If I like is, Banjo, right? If this is what they're giving me, let me go get an Xbox. Me, yeah, you know. So you never know, man. There's there's levels to this shit, you know. Yeah, there is. It's one of those things where where even Nintendo when the, the Wii came out, it's like, listen, if we can bring a whole new generation, a whole new different set of people to gaming, we'll for expand. every hundred people that don't stay, there's gonna be five people that never play games, and now they're gonna be lifelong mm-hmm. customers. And it's it's smart. It's a smart strategy, dude. That, it is. I know. Honestly, I always hated the 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 whole blue ocean thing that they were going for. <laughs> I didn't mind it. I always, it, it, it gave us some pretty cool innovative speak. games. <laughs> no corporate speak. No, cool. I mean, but that that's that's actual a thing though. The blue ocean. No, yeah, thing. no, I, I get it, but I, I hate anything that just like if it just feels like it's soaked in corporate oh. <laughs> corporate. <laughs> not yet, but like I always, I always find it funny when people go like Microsoft's not gonna do this. Cause then I'm expecting Breath of the Wild on Xbox. That's not gonna Shut happen. Shut up, man! Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's no, not how, that's not, not how it not works though. Right? Like Microsoft's doing something, but they're also getting something in return. They're getting sales. Mm-hmm. They're getting a market that they've never had. That's you know? true. And honestly, dude, Nintendo's IPs are just way more valuable than Microsoft's. They are. They I, are. I like, mean, maybe may, might be subjective, might not be, but there's no way. No, there, there's no. There's. It can't be subjective about that. That's a thing, though. That's a fact. <laughs> Well, because somebody was saying, how can you, how can there be tiers of, of iconicness? Uh-huh. You're telling me, because he was trying to make the argument, like, you're telling me Master Chief isn't as iconic as Zelda? Or isn't as no. iconic as a Mario? No, there aren't. Right, let's put it like this, right? Mm-hmm. The highest selling Halo game? Mm-hmm. What, 7 million? Right? 7, 8 million, I think? No, say. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll look it up later. Yeah. But, like, Breath of the Wild alone just sold 13, 14 million. Sure. Yeah, there's there, there's there's levels to this. <laughs> no, like no matter, even no even Zelda are, wouldn't be in like Mario. Mario's category. All right, the only person I would put with Mario would be probably like the Tetris, the Tetraminos, and Pac Man. Maybe you even know? Uh, Minecraft Steve. Probably that Maybe. he he's that, probably like the outlier. Reach, yeah, no, he's probably like the outlier. But yeah, I mean, probably um, I put Minecraft with um, what you call it, Five Nights at Freddy. Get the fuck out of here! No, that that's a hot take, bro. There's no way. Minecraft Steve is way more iconic. In noticeability, I don't know, man. I, I cause uh, like yeah, I said, when I mean, we used I to work, sort of when we used to work with there around there, Five Nights at Freddy was almost just as big as Minecraft merchandise wise. Merchandise wise, no, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. 
But now I think I still think worldwide. I think Minecraft Steve definitely still has to be. But but even then, actually, Minecraft Steve isn't even the most iconic character in his own game. It would be the creepers. The creepers, right? So nah, yeah, there's levels. <laughs> <laughs> so Microsoft, even though they said they have no plans to bring first party games to uh, other platforms, they did reiterate that they want to see Xbox Game Pass on other platforms. And uh, what do you think, dude? Man. I think let me get it on Switch. I'll pay, I'll pay skills, ten dollars. Those, those uh-huh. are those are Game Pass coming on Nintendo. I'll pay I'll pay an extra ten dollars for that. Get get um Ooh, Xbox Game Pass on my PC, Xbox and my Switch. I don't mm, I don't know. To, no, to me the added value mm-hmm. is worth it. But you already have it on the Xbox. Yeah, but if I can imagine being on like on the train, you know those trains that give you the Wi Fi, mm. or an airplane that gives you the Wi Fi, and being able to stream or download a game. Yeah, mm. I'm happy with that. I guess. I mean, I hope they don't like. I hope they package it all together, bro. I don't want to pay another. Ten dollars just no. to play these games on my Switch. They, like they they package Game Pass together, right? For the Xbox and the and the PC. PC, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think the price went up. I think five dollars or something. Okay, you see, the, then I'll see like the value, you know. But no, yeah, most I'll be willing to pay for all three Game Passes like fifteen dollars. <laughs> I don't know. Like if it goes up by another ten dollars, I'll be good if it comes to the Switch. To me, that's added value. I'm alright. Plus sure. Xbox integration and achievements. I could be playing my Switch, getting achievements on Xbox. Yo, bro. That would be amazing. And, and I need achievements on, on the Switch, bro. I don't know why they still haven't given that to us. And we got our first taste. Well, I don't know if it's actually our first taste, but Nintendo confirmed that the first Marvel Ultimate Alliance DLC pack is coming September 30th, and it's Marvel Knights. They're having yes. a new gauntlet mode. God, dude, we're seeing... I'm, I'm looking at yes. the Punisher. I'm looking at Lobo. Moon Knight, Lobo. which is a fucking... Lo- Lobo? Is that not his name? No, Lobo's from DC. Lo- oh, who's, who's that guy? <laughs> Who, the vampire? <laughs> yeah. I forget his name. Well, anyway, we got Punisher, Moon Knight, and Blade, bro. I Blade. think his name starts with an M, actually. Like <laughs> Mordor or some shit like that. Not <laughs> Lobo. What's wrong with I'm you? I'm sorry, it looked like Lobo for me, but yeah, no, I forgot vampire. Lobo was from DC. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, they have Blade, though. Yo, That's but amazing. Moon Knight, bro. Moon Knight is fucking... I, I love Moon Knight, dude. I, super dope. <laughs> he's like, He's like. He, uh, I don't know why I always get him confused with like Taskmaster. Do they look similar? I don't think so. <laughs> but I think they have to stay shares like some abilities where they can learn moves and all that. Yeah. I think I think it's something like that. Either that or I really have no idea why I get them confused. <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah. But yo, are you ready for this pack, bro? Bro, I just needed to see Blade and I was hyped. I don't care yeah, about Punisher dude, like that. I was shocked to see like, Blade. Honestly, Punisher to me is like the least hype one. Mm-hmm. I like Moonlight. I like the vampire. I keep forgetting the vampire's name, but he's an anti-hero. But Blade, though, I'm a big yeah. fan of Blade. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Blade. I love Blade. Word. Wesley Snipes did nothing wrong, bro. All <laughs> he did was evade taxes. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> but yeah, and lastly, uh, Dragon Quest uh, XI is that eleven, twelve yes. XI? <laughs> Oh, because ten was uh, the the multiplayer online. Yes. Right? Yes. The Dragon Quest Eleven uh, has a demo. You can download it right now on your Nintendo Switch. Matter of fact, I did already, and and boy, do I have some impressions. Um, but yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven is one of the big Nintendo titles for this year, and I think that's gonna be all from the news, bro. But real quick, before we kick it off to the next segment, mm-hmm. are you gonna download that demo? Are you gonna play it? Are you gonna buy Dragon Quest Eleven? I'm, I'm most likely going to buy it. I mean, I haven't bought it on it, on PlayStation, so... Sure, why not? Nintendo's got me in the marketing. Well, okay. Well, I got to ask you this real mm-hmm. quick. What do you say to people who critique, who critique you and going, this guy doesn't buy fucking games anywhere else, but if it comes to the Switch, this guy buys it there. This guy's a fanboy. I hate him. Die. And I could <laughs> show them my 200 games on Xbox. Ooh, and with that, baby, we're going to kick it off with our next segment, the games that we've been playing and <laughs> our thoughts on them. What do you think, bro? Should we go right into it? Yeah, let's do it. So let me ask you officially, dude. What have you been playing? Marvel you, Ultimate Alliance. Or do you rather have me kick, kick it off? I already answered. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. All right. Well, I got to tell you, I've been playing Dragon Quest Eleven, the demo, on my Switch. I was on the MTA when the six trains were running shitty. And they were running like every 30 fucking minutes. I had some time to play. Mm-hmm. And dude, I don't know why I don't have this on PS4 already because I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving the world. I'm loving the characters so far. I'm I'm having so much fun beating the shit out of these blue slimes and uh, pokers or pokies or whatever the fuck they're called. 
and dude, man, the graphics are great. Uh, the storyline is your basic Dragon Quest chosen one. Uh, the the graphics, the voice work can use a little work, but listen, that that that's just standard with JRPGs, uh-huh. right? But yo, I'm I'm liking it, dude. I'm liking it. The turn base, um, when you well, you started the game off, right? And I don't know if it's spoilers, but I, you want to just talk about the intro real quick? I mean, if it's on the demo, go ahead. The game's been out for like a year already too, so right. So you're you're playing. I'm, I call him Shino. Right, because I love that name, Shino Cochino. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's his. Uh, he's born, right? He's he's given birth to, right? Uh-huh. And he has his mark on his hand. You have the king and his uh, little board of whatever, and they're like, "Yo, you sure he's the chosen one?" And his guy is like, "Yo, he has the mark on his hand. Fuck, you think this is a this is a JRPG? Of course he's the chosen one." And the mom who gave birth to him, she runs. She runs away from the castle because I'm assuming they want him to do like some shit that she doesn't want to put her child in danger. Uh-huh. And. She's running away from this headless horseman, dude. I don't know. It was kind of weird, but I was digging it. And she gives the baby to her little daughter, who's like, fuck it, who looks like five, but she's carrying the baby in a basket. She's strong as shit, dude. And, she, she, and she's running. But unfortunately, she gets caught, and she throws who, the baby into the a sister? river. The sister? Yeah, the little sister gets uh-huh. caught. She throws the baby into a river, <laughs> which is wild, bro. Uh, but anyway, he lands in, on the river. He's inside his basket, and he gets found by, you know, an old man who's like, yo, I'm a raise you like my own because i love you <laughs> okay and so your your first uh introduction when you first start playing you're you know doing the ceremony you got to climb this rock and you have this dog dog's name sandy dude and i'm telling you right now if you don't fall in love with sandy from the first bark you're a terrible human being <laughs> and she fights with you by the way oh, really? she, she saw a slime she's like dude what well, you thought i'm gonna just sit here and bark but i'm gonna beat the shit out of this slime which is crazy <laughs> But no, the the intro is really cool. You you get to the top of the rock, and this bird, you know, obviously there's some trouble or brewing. Uh, the bird comes down, his mark starts shining, and it drops like this huge, of awesome thunderbolt from the sky. It kills the bird, and yeah. No, I mean, listen, I I didn't really play much, much, but I played like 45 minutes at least, and I think the demo's like 10 hours long, right? I don't know. I heard it's very meaty. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure somebody streamed it for three hours. Yeah, and, and they said that was still there was still a lot to get through. Holy shit, bro! So yeah, I'm I'm yeah. excited, dude. I'm like, yo, I didn't think I would I was gonna get um, this hooked into the game, but I uh, man, I I should start giving Dragon Quest more tries, bro. Because on the DS, Dragon Quest Nine, dude, I was hooked on that fucking game. No, that's true. Um, but I'll... I gotta ask real quick, the internet or whoever happens to hear this, right? Uh, please let me know if I'm going crazy because when I was playing Dragon Quest Nine. Right, I was playing as a magician, right? Uh-huh. But my, my my magic, like even even though I was the strongest character, my magic was still the strongest as everybody else's. I was like, well, don't you think if I was a magician class, you would think <laughs> that like my frizz is a little stronger than everybody else's? Uh-huh. But it wasn't. I uh-huh. felt like a fool. I was like, well, this guy's striking like forty six damage, but my fire's still doing twelve, and his fire's doing twelve too. Uh-huh. <sighs> but either way, Dragon Quest Nine was awesome, bro. It was. And I enjoyed playing with you. Thank you for humoring That's, me by that, with that. That's the one. Sentinels of the Starry Sky, right? Yeah. I think I, pl- I think I only got it because of the name. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long name. Yeah, and it's Dragon Quest Eleven. What? Elusive Age of the Elusians. Uh, <laughs> totally. Dragon Quest name. Eleven S. Elysian of an Elusive Age yeah. or some shit. <laughs> yeah, but listen. Dragon Quest Eleven, dude, if you haven't tried it already, give it a shot, bro. I think you might like it. No, I, I I think I might recommend you play it with the Japanese audio though. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot though for one main reason, mm-hmm. and it was because Hero was announced for Smash, mm. and I loved um, the Japanese fan reaction to him. Yeah, for sure. So for sure. I mean, oh, they must like it. they must like Dragon Quest for a reason. So I'm gonna give it a shot for that. Yeah, I mean, uh, to me, the only uh, main character from Dragon Quest that looks somewhat like stand out mm-hmm. is the dude with the bandana from Dragon Quest Eight. Is it? Oh, eight? No, no, seven, I think. Seven? Yeah. Because well, eight, yeah. eight's the one that pl- they came out on PlayStation. Yeah, it's the one on PlayStation 2, right? Yeah. I think that's the one I'm talking about. But anyway, we'll, we'll double check it. But he looks, I think to me, I think he looks super cool. Everybody else is just like standard Akira Toriyama fare, bro. Like They, they all kind of like look the same. Honestly, way. that's one of the main reasons why I never got into Dragon Quest. I just mm. don't like the guy's art style. Yeah, no, I, I see why. I see why, you know, there's so many similarities, bro. I remember reading through the uh, manual for one of Dragon Quest games on PS2. Yeah. And I was like, that's Trunks. <laughs> and I was like, there's just a character that's no, just I mean, like Trunks. Yeah, it's not only that, but like, he's also in Dragon Ball. 
Yeah. So it's just yeah, his art style almost never changes. You know? I mean, well, and of course, you know, someone's gonna tell you, like, well, that's just his art style. It's iconic, bro. Yeah. Of course, you it's know. iconically boring to me. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you're you're coming with some opinions today, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying it's boring. You know, it's like yeah. Jesus Lord. Well, bro. It, Dragon maybe Ball. it's boring because it's one of those things that were just built upon. You know. No, it's like it's, it's like uh, it looks the same as old Dragon Ball, with small Goku. Yeah, yeah. With and yeah, I'm tired of that. Ball. Like it's been Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Kai, GT, Dragon Ball, Super, Dragon Ball Kai, GT. Super. What you call it? Like the legacy of Goku games. <laughs> it's just tiring. Nigga, like, yeah. there's so much to draw from Akira Toriyama's art that you're, you're you could just see everything. Right? Yeah. Like you just like, see, oh, he just like modified Trunks' look. To kind of fit right. a new character He but has like awesome. one extra strand of hair now Yeah It's like if I tell you right now mm-hmm. I'm gonna make a game And Akira Toriyama is gonna be the artist You can already <laughs> in your head Picture what the character is gonna look like Yeah Cause yeah. nothing's gonna change That's true That's true I mean I'll give you that dude I'll give you that But listen Dragon Quest XI uh, Demos here bro Definitely If you haven't played it yet Try it out It's super awesome You said there was, there was some dude Streaming it for three hours So yeah even if it's only three hours, bro, that's still a, a great demo. And it carries over. So. Oh, and it carries over. Fuck yeah, bro. That's what I wanted to hear. Nah, I'll definitely give it a shot. It comes out in like two months, right? November, I think. Is it a November game? I think so. I thought it was September. God, oh, you, you September, would think, actually. Oh, I'm about to say. You would no, think wait. because we do this podcast that I would know a little bit more. But When does Pokemon uh, come out? Diploma. What? When does Pokemon come out? November. It comes out the same month as Pokemon. Oh, is it a November game? I think so. Well, we'll double check it at the end of the episode. But what have you been playing, bro? I answered this after you before you actually wrote me cut me off. <laughs> Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I've gotten I mean, forward into the story. Yo, what what characters are we looking at, bro? What 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 new characters have you ran into? Oh man, uh, I'm gonna blank on a lot of names. <laughs> but I got what's her name? Oh my lord, the Wasp. The I, wasp. Find, I unlocked the uh, Storm. Storm. Oh lord! The lady with the daggers from um, Electra. Electra. Yeah. Um. Obviously, you have the X Men. I'm actually trying to remember in order of Cyclops, of the Colossus. People. No, that comes out at the end of the month, what? September 30th. Really? Yeah. Oh, sh- Cyclops and Colossus. Yeah. Oh, I thought you would have ran into them by now, so. No, I've been ran into them, but you don't unlock them. They're DLC. Ah, okay, got you. But yeah, it's a pretty like. I'm really blanking on who I unlocked. <laughs> oh, Wakanda. The guy from Wakanda. The Wakanda Black guy. Panther. <laughs> Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up, bro. No, it's not even that. It's just I'm, I'm trying to, like, put pictures. Because I'm trying to, like, I can picture the menu in my head. Yeah. But, like, the faces are blanked out until <laughs> I remember their names. Though I do know, like, the order that they are in. So, yeah. Have they been wrapping it up, though? How's the story? Oh, the story, oh, oh, boy, don't even get me stuff. The story is amazing. I love, yo, you have no idea how much I love the art style mm. of this game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is amazing. Like, you mentioned it once or twice, yeah. No, yeah, but then we saw the the preview for uh, the, whatchamacallit, the Avengers, Avengers game. game. And the Avengers game just looks like garbage. Like, it doesn't have character, right? Compa- yeah, it, oh, Lord, it's like nothing. Like, this, is, like, this game is oozing personality. It is. Like, it's not one of these, you know, fanboy things, bro. It's just no, yeah. Like to it, me, it's just facts, bro. Like, all right, yeah, right. Um, mm-hmm. put the put put the Avengers of the Avengers games together, mm-hmm. and then put the ones from Marvel Ultimate Alliance together, mm-hmm. and the difference is so fucking huge. Right, you're thinking, oh, what happened here? Yeah, huh? yeah. Like there was something like phil- there's. Well, I mean, obviously, of course, there's something. Uh, philosophically different between the two development teams but yeah one just... of them's trying to cash in on the movies the other one's doing his own thing because they love the comic books yeah and I, I I'll go with the people that love the comic books you know <laughs> no but you know like it's like we said you know they have this they have the entirety of the Marvel Universe and they're like yo we're gonna try to fit as many people into this game yeah as, I... and yeah I mean to I guess in the defense of the Avengers game they're talking about bringing new characters in uh, for future a DLC, but what are we really talking about? Are we gonna see Loki and we're gonna see um, what's uh, the Iron Soldier, whatever his name is? The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Uh, are we gonna see Hawk? Are we gonna, see, you know, we're just gonna reiterate on the characters from the movies? Because if so, then I don't, I don't care, dude. Most likely, I mean, they teased Kamala Khan in the in the video. 
But I'm like, mm. that's cool, I guess. All right. Yeah, cool. see, that I'm cool. already playing with Kamala Khan in Marvel to my lines. <laughs> right. She came out in the first fucking episode. I don't even have to wait for her. <laughs> Mom, I love this lady, and she's right there immediately. All I had to do was be like the tutorial thing, and ba bam, Kamala Khan, Spider Gwen, Mal Morales. That's love it. that already. And you're you're already adding diversity right there, right? As opposed to just like At, I see, waiting, see the, look, the Avengers, right? The Avengers thing you had, obviously Hulk, Iron Man, Captain and America, yeah, right. Uh, what's her name? Black, Black Widow. Widow. And I think that's all, all they showed. Those four. Yeah, and they teased right. obviously. Thor, like Hulk, Ant-Man. yeah, Black, yeah. Yeah, they teased them at the end of the this thing. Mm-hmm. But in more words to the minds, right? You mm-hmm. start off with um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. And then after that, you get to Spider Man. Mm-hmm. And then you get Miles Morales, Spider Gwen, and Kamala Khan. And before and, that, you get Venom. Yeah, and Venom. <laughs> and Venom, yeah. And there's Venom in the game. All of that you get within the first five minutes. Oh, like the first chapter, and I'm already in love with this game. So I'm like, yeah, there's no reason why. I'm, I'm, I, there is no reason why I will ever touch Marvel Avengers, Avengers game. Yeah, especially because it's a what you call it? Uh, oh my lord! Uh, games is service. Yeah, and I'm just I, no. I don't, nobody has really nailed that model. And yeah, like maybe I mean Destiny probably. I mean Destiny uh, one. Destiny I one was garbage. Me. Destiny two, at least they picked it up. But I mean, at that point, you're in your sequel. Yeah, you know what you fucked up in the first one. Right, but even then, they fucked up the sequel. <laughs> yeah, they did. So I have no trust. I have no faith in them. Then you Bungie. have, um, yeah. I have no faith, huh? Bungie? No, not Bungie. The guys who are making the Avengers game. Crystal but, Dynamics? Yeah. Just no. because, nah, no, just because nobody's nailed it, huh? That's true. That's true. Especially with something like this, you and know, like, they, you know that the main thing that they're going for, and obviously, of course, every company does it. It's for the money. Yeah. But, like, this is, like, so blatantly going... We try. We're trying to capture the MCU audience. Yeah. ASAP, as soon as possible, before yes. the, the the hype kind of dies down, which I don't think it's going to anytime soon. It isn't. But, Phase Four is about to start and all that. Yeah. When yeah. you would think, like, yo, these are characters people are gonna want to play with because you know they're coming out of movies soon. Give me, give me fucking uh, the Defenders, or give me, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on the names with the movie with Aquafina. I have no idea who you're talking about. Ah, ah, I'll get the name right. No, I'll I'll get the name at the end of the episode. But listen, there's just so much to draw from, bro. I don't, I don't know why he had to give us it generic right. and then white they, characters. Yeah, <laughs> then they gave you the bullshit excuse we're doing our own Avengers. No, you're and not. it's like no, you're not. <laughs> so first of all, if you want to do your own Avengers, at least do the original Avengers because yeah. Wasp and Ant Man are there. So many, and you're just copying the DCU. I mean the yeah, the Marvel Cinematic the yeah. MCU. My bad. And yeah, it's just like you're clearly not doing anything different mm-hmm. from them. And even if you add Kamala Khan now, uh, Marvel to the minds already added her. So and she looks amazing. Yeah, the art style is great. It's not going for that realistic shit. That's true. Uh, and, I, and I had a little bit of a problem with the graphics and uh, the preview. And the thing is, that, like, I want to know the people that got hyped for the Avengers gameplay that they showed. Mm-hmm. I want you to tell me why you got hyped because it was all scripted. Yeah, it was all scripted. Like, I don't. Oh my lord! It was half the time I was just like watching a movie. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I might as well just watch the the Avengers movie. <laughs> yeah, because this was, and then I know people are gonna be like, "Well, it's just probably the tutorial." It's gonna control. I don't care. That they told me the controls in Marvel Ultimate Alliance too, and it was in no fucking quick time event. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know, I don't want to stay on this topic too long because I, we're just going in circles here, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, just, not looking forward to the Avengers. You guys but... want to play a good Avengers game? Yeah, get Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Word. I mean, you're, you're not gonna go wrong with cosmically that. big. It is place man. in New York. <laughs> the story's gotten oh, the story's gotten really good. Yeah, like, it's amazing how you you know the guys play with one another. And obviously, there's, there's some people I haven't seen support. in a while. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's gonna have DLC. Fantastic man, supposed to come up too. Do you know what the uh, what the gauntlet mode's supposed to be, or is it just literally like a gauntlet mode? We just I'm not sure. I think it's supposed to be like the infinity and infinity mode challenges. Oh, okay. Probably right. something like that. Hmm. I've well. completed a couple of them. The only ones I haven't done is um. Spider-Man solo, Hulk solo, and Captain America solo, because I'm not. I I just don't want to play with Captain America and Hulk. <laughs> I'm done with the Avengers. Yeah. Fuck yeah. the Avengers. Yeah, it's like a little bit of oversaturation. Yeah, right I'm I'm using everybody else, but the Avengers. Like yeah, no, all... and I see you. I see you putting out some some different teams, bro. Yeah. Superheroes you don't generally generally play with. Oh yeah, I mean I'm going obviously with favorites. Like Kamala Khan does not leave my team for starters. I, I've noticed actually. Um, Spider Gwen, she's become a staple. She's I usually I don't rotate her out as often because I really enjoy her combinations with Kamala Khan. Mm-hmm. But she stays there almost like eighty five percent of the time. Mm. 
Every, and then the other two just get switched out depending on how I feel or who <laughs> I want to play with. Yeah. So it's usually like Iron Fist or Daredevil, mm-hmm. Wolverine, Venom, you know, somebody like that. Yeah. I like. I, I actually like um. What's his name? Deadpool. Deadpool's been pretty fun. Deadpool's always great though. It is. Especially with Ryan Reynolds. I gotta get the DLC for the I game though. Ryan Reynolds. What? I gotta get the DLC for the game though. Yeah. Yeah. And there's gonna be. <laughs> there's gonna be plenty of it. It but is. But let's see. Let's see. We we talk a little bit of games. We got some good news in here. Um, hmm, is that it? I think so. Man, I, I feel like we're breezing to these episodes recently. <laughs> Probably. Mostly because most of this was already pre-recorded. Yeah. And oh, okay, we, we yeah. just like reading so, off scripts. I just wanted, yeah, I wanted to... Off scripts that we, we had to write down after listening <laughs> to whatever we managed to salvage. You didn't just have, you didn't have to pull, you know, the claw from the table like that. You know, I was going to ease into it. But yeah, listen, this is, uh, episode 19 is in the books, and to be completely honest with you guys... It was already in the books. Well, not this episode particularly, but episodes, what, 15 to, like, 18, 18. were in the books? Yeah. <laughs> but because the computer crashed, we lost all that data. So we're pretty much just remaking the episodes. Um, one of the ways that we've been finding the energy to do it is that uh, our lovely producer here, <laughs> Mr. Lightman, has been putting on some Monday Night Football theme songs. Yeah. <laughs> and that gets me jacked. But, yes, guys, we're all caught up. Uh, I think that's going to be it for episode 19. I just want to get some of the news uh, correct, by the way, before we actually sign off. Okay? Right. And just to clear up a little bit of uh, the news, the guy with the bandana from Dragon Quest was from Dragon Quest Eight. The highest selling Halo game was 11.87 million, uh, well, 11.87 million with Halo 3. I think, what, Legend of Zelda did 13 already? Yes. All right. In so, two years. Right, the guy from Gears of War 4, Delmont Walker. They call him Dell in the game, which is probably why I couldn't remember his name. And lastly, Aquafina is coming out in the movie of Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, that movie is gonna have some dope things. It has the guy from um, uh, the Kim's Convenience, which is a super fun show. Oh, yeah, if you haven't yeah. watched it, definitely watch it. But I think that's gonna be it from us here at the Applesauce Podcast. Episode 19's in the books, bro. Right, yes. follow us on social media. On uh, Twitter at Applesauce Cast, on Instagram at Applesauce Pod. Check us out, bro. Fuck with your boys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do all that thing. We're back. We're caught up. Foot Broskies, episode one's coming soon. We talk Very everything soon. NFL, and that's going to be a little bit more casual, but still going to have a, a couple of hot takes, guys. That's going to be all from us. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. The Applesauce Podcast is a Studio 149 production. It is written by Victor Suarez, edited and produced by Mr. Lightman, and made possible by listeners like you. Thank you.